Jim in Gurney, Illinois writes to me and he says, my question revolves around my main analog system. I have an Audio Research VT60 amplifier, great one, and an LS8 preamp, great too, uh, along with a California Audio Sigma 2 DAC, driving a pair of Canton C1000, CT1000 speakers. Uh, I have enjoyed what to me is awesome sound on vinyl and CD for many years, but I've heard tubes are only good for a couple thousand hours. To be honest, I have no idea how much mileage I've put on them and it would be hard to estimate even though I'm the only owner and user. I've never replaced them or the caps and I don't notice any degradation in sound quality. How would I know? Well, you, this is kind of like, um, I've never seen my hair grow. <laughs> but you know what? It gets longer over time, but I can't see it grow. And in the same way, you can't hear your tubes degrade because it happens very slowly over a long period of time. But I guarantee you, your tubes are way beyond where they should be. And I don't care how long, unless you just never play it. So I'll give you a good example. We recommend that you change your vacuum tubes in our equipment every year like a religion whether you need it or not, unless you're just simply not playing it, which then it's kind of silly, but um, I just changed all the vacuum tubes in the PS Audio reference system upstairs. We're, we're down here in production right now. And oh my goodness, OMG, uh, or God, goodness, whatever it is, OMG, the difference is astounding, staggering, just life in the system. Oh, wow. It's one of the things I love about vacuum tubes. I mean, transistors never wear out. Capacitors do. Transistors basically don't. Vacuum tubes most certainly do. So you should change your vacuum tubes right now. Just go out and get a new pair. And you'll thank me for doing that because all of a sudden your system's going to come to life. And, and the problem we have is that, like hair growing, we can't see it, or toenails or nails, you know, you can't see them grow, but they surely do. In the same way, we can't hear vacuum tubes degrade, but they surely do. So I, you know, if I was more on top of my game, I'd be changing my tubes every six months. And we use it a lot, but I always want the peak of performance up there. And with vacuum tubes, you got to change them. You just got to do it. Okay. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye.